Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a really quick and easy air freshener slash carpet freshener. And what I'm going to do is, I have this mason jar, and they come in a set of four. I think I picked them up at Park Target, excuse me, Target for about $5.99 for the four. Okay, so we'll start with that. You take some baking powder. And you fill that about one third of the way. Okay, that's about one third. And then you take whatever essential oil you like. You can mix them. I'm going to use my favorite, which is lavender. It's really relaxing and calming. It's, it's really one of my favorites. So you start out with about ten drops. Hold on a second, be right back. Let me get something to stir it with. Okay, so I'm back. And so what I'm going to use is this plastic fork. Rather than a spoon because it'll distribute the oil through the baking soda more evenly. Okay, take a sniff. Alright, it's pretty good, but I want to add about five more drops. Got to take it up to 15. Excuse that background noise. Somebody's outside with a leaf blower. Oops. Try not, try not to make a mess like I'm doing here. Okay, hold on just one second until they're done. Okay, so I'm back. They've moved on down the ways a little bit with that leaf blower, making a lot of noise there. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but it's really disturbing to me. So, I'm back. And here we have, I've put the 15 drops in. And, mmm, smells really good. That's all I need. If you want to kick it up about four more drops, you can. That's up to you. It's really your preference. And as it gets older, you can add the essential oil to it. So, what I did was, um, I have a book of this decorative paper that I picked up at Michael's. Um... So all I did was took the top, the inside top of the mason jar, went around it with a pencil, cut it out, and I also used these little bitty teeny tiny scissors to cut holes on the inside. I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, within the circle. So what you do then is just take the top and place that in there. And screw it on there. And so now you have a hole for the scent to come through as an air freshener. And uh, the holes to sprinkle for um, the carpet fresh freshener. And when you're not using it to preserve the fragrance, just take the top that it came, came with it inside of the lid. Put this back on. And put it back on. And there you go. You can also um, cut another another circle and put it on the outside for decoration. And you can tie a ribbon. I actually have a ribbon. It's not really going to match um, what I have on the inside, but just to give you an idea what it you know what it looks like. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and here's the ribbon I was speaking of. It's really pretty, but it really doesn't match. Maybe if I was doing vanilla. Uh, fragrance. I'd use this particular color, but just to give you an idea. Um, also, I would cut it maybe here, you know, just to give it a really cute appearance. And if you're really into crafts, um, you can print out a label. You can give these as gifts for Christmas, Mother's Day, birthdays, whenever. But it's really cute and it works. So uh, be natural and use some of the stuff that you have at home and uh, save yourself some money. Alrighty, I hope you like it. Oh, also, I have another channel. It's called The Venus. It's B-E-V-E-N-U-S. And that's my jewelry channel. I'll put a link up so you can find it. But um, I give you craft ideas on that one as well. So, 
Hope you like it. Let me know what you think, guys. Talk to you later.